Now, Russia's air force has stepped up its efforts against Islamic State's main source of income, namely the terrorist oil empire. The illegal crude is smuggled into Turkey on an industrial scale. Jihadists make millions of dollars selling cheap crude on the black market, making ISIL the richest terrorist organization possibly ever. Ankara has denied ever buying Islamic State's oil. Let's discuss this in more depth now with Dr. Mawafak al rubai member of the Iraqi parliament and the country's former national security advisor. Dr. al rubai uh, many thanks for joining us on RT. Uh, what, what do you personally know about the extent of ISIL's oil smuggling into Turkey? In the last uh, eight months, uh, uh, ISIS has managed to sell what's worth $800 million dollars worth of oil in the black market of Turkey. This is Iraqi oil and Syrian oil. And these are well carried by, um, by, 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 by trucks from Iraq, from Syria, through the borders to Turkey and sold in a less than 50% of the international oil price. So it's, it's always sold uh, it has been always sold in the region of 20 to 21, 22 dollar for, for for the barrel. Now this either get consumed inside the, the crude is is refined in the Turkish on the Turkish territory by the Turkish refineries and sold in the Turkish uh, market, or it goes to Jihan and then in the pipelines from Jihan to the Mediterranean and sold to the international market. So the ISIS has uh, made huge, a lot of money. This is, this is like oxygen, you know? You, once you cut the oxygen, uh, then you, the, the ISIS will, will, will suffocate. And this is the oxygen supply, money and the dollars generated by selling Iraqi and Syrian oil in the uh, Turkish black market is like the oxygen uh, supply, supply to the to the to ISIS and its operation. Now this is number one. Number two, there are still some jihadists filtering through from from the from from all over the world in the in Istanbul as a hub for these jihadists and trickling or pertling down to the Syrian the Syrian uh, Turkish borders and uh, Iraqi Turkish border. Now, I would like to ask uh, Mr. Erdogan. Uh, he's been violating the Iraqi airspace for the last tw 12 years, at least since, since 9th of April 2003, until this moment of time, uh, claiming that he is trying to, uh, to uh, attack and target PKK and YPG. Now, the, 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 and also what is happening in the, in between Turkey and ISIS, let me tell you something which is, which is not being reported uh, uh, well in the international press, and that's the treatment of the wounded uh, fighter, a terrorist from ISIL. Uh, they, 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 they get treatment in the, in, in the Turkish hospitals near the borders and inside the hospitals and have, uh, we have report from our intelligence agencies uh, well we have crossed this cross matched this and they, they have told they have told us that they, there, are, there are still even in the wounded ISIL fighters get treated in Istanbul itself. Dr. Al Rubai, you, you mentioned the supply of oil and wet where it's being refined. Another key aspect: who's buying it? Well, the the merchants, the businessmen, the Turkish businessmen in the black market in Turkey, and under the under the the noses, under the uh, auspices, if you like, of the of the Turkish intelligence agency and Turkish security uh, apparatus. And there is no shadow of that in my mind that Turkish government know about this very well and they're turning a blind eye to it. You, you mentioned the, uh, the incursions into Iraqi airspace. Um, do you think that Erdogan is being hypocritical then with Turkey's shooting down of that Russian bomber? 
Well, the, I, I think this is a provocative act, uh, act of Erdogan. He the, the wanted to, to boost his, uh, the, the morale of his people and the, his popularity. And this is for domestic consumption. I don't think this is going to make any difference in the, in the fight against uh, uh, ISIL. And I, I can tell you one thing. Uh, this is from my previous life experience. Uh, if, if Erdogan and his government does not come w clean and uh, uh, fight ISIL themselves, they will get uh, the, this fire will get to the to Istanbul, and in no time we will see uh, VBID car bombs and suicide bombers and uh, and all sort of terrorist acts in the street of Istanbul and, and Ankara. And another controversial element of, of the, the Turkish relationship to, to Syria is the border, the lack of border control. Many people asking why is the flow of incoming uh, want to be ISIL members not cut off. Why is that border not being closed between Turkey and Syria? Uh, there is no doubt in my mind that uh, there is uh, the, the security uh, office. Uh, there are security officers who are sympathizing with the, with the ISIL in, in, in Turkey and they are allowing them to uh, percolate for and infiltrate from, uh, from Istanbul to the, they move from Istanbul to, 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 to the borders and then go through the, the border to, to Syria and then to Iraq. And this cannot happen. And I'll tell you one thing, for, this is from my previous life, there is, no, there is no terrorist organization which can stand alone without a neighboring country uh, helping it. Uh, like now, in this case, Turkey, there is no doubt that Turkey is, uh, is helping in an indirect way or in a very subtle way uh, that they're, they're helping ISIL. And until unless they come clean and they come very, very clear anti, uh, in, the, in the effort, in the international effort, whether it's the international effort led by by your United States of America or the, the effort now, which is led by, by Russia. Uh, and also, uh, I have to tell you that we are, we, we in Iraq, in where, where, where I sit in Baghdad, we are benefiting great deal from the uh, coordination, intelligence coordination of the uh, the the in coordination cell, which is based in Baghdad between Iran, uh, Iraq, Syria, and Russia. Our guest this hour, Dr. Mawafak Al Rubai, member of Iraqi Parliament, former National Security Advisor to Iraq. Uh, Dr. Al Rubai, many thanks for joining us.